Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a vocal riser in BandLab. Tap on the plus icon and tap on sampler on the pop-up menu. To record your words or sounds for your vocal riser, press on a pad and sing or say your words or sounds. Then stop pressing on the pad to stop recording. You. You. Tap on the pen icon. Then tap on edit. Drag the grey lines on the waveform image to set the beginning and end of your recording that you want to use for your vocal riser. You can press on the play icon to hear the sample between the grey lines. You, 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 you. You. Now tap on normalise to set the volume of the sample as loud as possible. You. Then tap on one shot so the whole sample plays when you tap on play. You. Now tap on done. Now press on the sample and drag it to another pad to copy it to that pad. You. Now drag the sample to all the other pads. Pad number one, which is the bottom left pad, will be left as the original. You. So tap on pad two, so it has a white border, which is the pad to the right of pad one, on the bottom row. You. Then press on the pitch knob icon and drag your finger slowly up the screen until it says about 1.00 ST on the pop-up message. ST means semitone. It doesn't have to be exact and you can drag your finger down the screen if it says much more than 1.00 ST on the pop-up message. You, you. Tap on pad 3 so it has a white border. You. Then press on the pitch knob icon and drag your finger slowly up the screen until it says about 2.00 ST on the pop-up message. You, you, you. Now tap on each of the pads 4 to 13 in order. Then press on the pitch knob icon and drag your finger slowly up the screen, increasing the pitch by about 1.00 ST each time. You, 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 you. Now tap on the tick icon. Then tap on the step sequencer icon. Tap on the first square on the bottom row, which is the pad one row. You. Now tap on the second square on the pad two row. You. Next, tap on the snap icon so it no longer has a round white background and is turned off. Tap on the play button to hear the two samples play. You. 
Now press on the note on the pad 2 row and drag it left or right to move it so the second sample starts playing at the end of the first sample. You. 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 Now add a note to the pad 3 row and drag it so it starts at the end of the second sample. You. 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 Now add a note to each of the pads 4 to 13 in order and drag them so each sample starts at the end of the last sample. Notice that as the pitch increases with each pad, each sample plays faster, so each note gets closer together in the step sequencer. You. 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 Finally, tap on the X icon. Tap on the FX icon. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on the delay tab. Then tap on filter echo plus. Drag the dot on the line below the word time to the left until it says 1 16th in the text box to the right of the word time. Then tap on the back arrow and tap on the X icon. You. Tap on the step sequence on the sampler track. Then press on the step sequence and drag it to where you want it in your song. You. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.